What is going on, Fan Clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Happy S Sunday. Today is Sunday. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you had a really good weekend. I hope you watched some of the Peori Peoria stream or are continuing to watch it. It's been it's been an absolute blast. I, I cannot wait to show you guys the footage and talk to you more about it. It's been so much fun. I'm excited for today's video because one of the questions that I get asked a lot is uh, baby shinies. I get a lot of questions about the baby shinies that we see released in Hidden Fates and we see released in Shining Fates. And is that a good investment moving forward? And I don't like to use the term investment because I think you should collect what you want to collect and worry about the money side of things after the fact. You know, if you're getting out of the game or if you're getting out of the hobby or whatever the case may be. But I understand and the desire to have your collection be worth at least what you put into it. And I get a lot of questions about baby shinies. And one of the worst things, I guess, that will impact the value of baby shinies is reprints. If we talk about reprints, what has happened with Shining Face, what has happened with Hidden Face, it has severely damaged the long-term perspective of baby shinies because there's been so much that have gone out there. Now, there's a the good thing is that there's a lot of them. There are a lot of them. And today we are going to cover the top selling, the best moving baby shinies out there to get a feel for where the market is. And it's it's not great. A lot of them are trending in the downward direction, which is important to look at because if you don't have these pieces in your collection, definitely worth starting to pick some up, uh, especially with Hidden Fates and... Um, Shining Fates, you know, kind of on the way out. We had a lot of reprints for them. Eventually, they're going to start, those booster packs are going to start going uh, in the north direction. So very hard to pull some of those and much easier to just kind of buy singles and waste your time opening up a bunch of opening up a bunch of packs. So we're going to start out with the best moving baby shiny and then work our way down. The first one is Drizzile, and there's a big reason behind this one being number one, and that is because it's Shady Dealing's ability. It is a huge card in the competitive format. This is going to rotate come January we assume the beginning of uh, 2023 is when Pokemon said that they were going to do a rotation so we know that a lot of these cards are going to rotate out and Drizzile being one of those cards that has been used a ton in competitive format this being the max rarity for competitive play means this card is going to continue to fall and then when rotation does hit it's going to nosedive really really hard so you can see already heading in the downward direction $24.12 is where this was selling for at one point in time about a year ago uh, it took a lot of hits now it's sitting at $11 and 52 cents which is just above uh, or now it's sitting at 11 dollars and 56 cents which is just above its one year low of 11.52 and i expect this card to continue to trend downward suicune uh the baby shiny from shining fates this card was selling for a lot when the set originally came out it was selling for like 60 dollars. it was one of the really in demand baby shinies and why not it looks amazing uh, but you can see just over the past year it has dropped really really hard 23 dollars and 30 cents is what it was selling for in october and you can see just downward trajectory all over the place one of the few cards and Shining Fates that is selling for double digits uh, still. Uh, $12.61 is where it's currently sitting just above its one year low of $12.27 which it hit at the end of July in 2022. The number three best selling Baby Shiny is the Charmander from Hidden Fates. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. Love the artwork on this, but this card has been hit really hard by reprints. We talked about this in our Hidden Fates video a couple weeks ago. This was selling for $19.22 at the end of 2021 and just has really spiraled out of control since then. Really heading in the downward direction 1021 is where it's currently sitting it's only three cents above it's one year low which it actually just hit a couple weeks ago ten dollars and 18 cents so if you don't have this card it's definitely heading in the downward direction might be the time to start looking at picking it up intellion with shady dealings another card that's definitely higher than what it should be because of competitive play i would expect this to also drop even further once uh rotation does hit i don't think it's going to drop as hard as the drizzile because we'll see in a few minutes still the starters the final evolution of the starters from sword and shield still selling for a decent price point, but $14.57 is where this was selling for at one point in December of 2021 before really starting to drop a little bit, leveled off consistently, and then in April of 2022, it hit a pretty hard point where it dropped relatively hard, and then again in uh, August of 2022. Now it's sitting at $9.04, which is just barely above its one-year low of $9.01. Then we've got the Eevee from Hidden Fates. Still, uh, it's been a long time re removed from its one-year low, which had originally hit in January of 2022 at $18.03, but it's much closer to that now. You can see it shot back up in about March of 2022 before really starting to go down and down and down. Now it's sitting at $18.67, much closer to that one-year low than that one-year high of $22.36. A little bit interesting because it hit its one-year high in March of 2022 before really starting to bottom out again. Then we've got the Galarian Zigzagoon, another card that is really seeing a lot of competitive play. So I don't know if this card is going to drop a lot more because it's already 
already relatively cheap. This is from Shining Fates. You can see relatively consistent for pretty much the entire year. At one point in time, it was selling for $4.17. That was in January of 2022. It's definitely hit some low points, like when it hit $2.51 in May of 2022 before kind of shooting back up a little bit and leveling off a little bit right in between its one-year high and one-year low. A little bit closer to its one-year high, currently sitting at $3.74. Not a lot of movement in that one. Then we've got Charmeleon, and this one has been hurt really hard also by reprints just like that Charmander that we were talking about. It's one-year high of $18.66. It hit in October of 2021 before dropping back down in January of 2022, really hitting a big slide. Now it's sitting at $11.56, which is a one-year low for this card. It's lost almost 50% in value, about 40% over the past year. Then we've got Decidueye, which is another final evolutions, uh, evolution of those starters from Sword and Shield, currently selling at $6.40. Uh, $6.16 is its one-year low, so much closer to that than its one-year high of $10.55. It hit that in October of 2021. You can see in April. April is the key point to look at for Shining Fates because that's when we had that massive reprint of the Pikachu V-Boxes and of the Shining Fates uh, Elite Trainer Boxes. So that's going to hurt a lot of value when it comes to some of these singles that were already struggling just because of the mass amount of Shining Fates that was already in existence. existence. Then we've got Coughing. This one is from Shining Fates as well. This one actually trended upwards a little bit. You can see it's one year high. It actually hit in April before that reprint came, $7.36. Not a whole lot of movement as far as dollars go, but still a decent chunk uh, as far as percentage goes. You figure it's lost about 25, 30% of value over the past few months, sitting at $5.90 currently, much closer to its one year low of $5.87 than its one year high of $7.36. Then we've got Cinderace, which is the final, final evolution of those starters from Sword and Shield. And this one got hit pretty hard by that reprint in April. This is also from Shining Fates, $8.77 is one year high, which it hit in February of 2022. That's really when Shining Fates started to recover a little bit, about a year after it was uh, printed originally, and then they announced that reprint in April, and we knew it was a massive reprint that was coming out, and a lot of these cards took huge hits. It dropped all the way down to $5.14, hasn't been able to recover, still sitting at $5.22, much closer to its one year high than its one year low. Then we've got Galarian Meow. This one's a little bit more interesting. Hit its one year high in January, $5.70 cents then you see up and down up and down it survived the reprint a little bit in april uh, and kind of kind of hit the wall then in may and in june uh dropped all the way down to three dollars and 51 cents it recovered a little bit sitting right in between its one year high and one year low at four dollars and 46 cents then we've got a rangaroo this one is from shining fates as well not to be confused with the one from hidden fates this one was selling at six dollars and 20 cents at one point in october of 2021 really hasn't done well since then uh kind of just downward trajectory ever since october of 2021 21, sitting at $2.82 right now, but ever since July, it's been uh, right around that $2.50 mark. It's $2.39 mark that it hit in July was its one-year low. Hasn't been able to move much since then. Then we've got the Galarian Ponytail, a one-time, very expensive baby shiny when Shining Fates first came out. Not so much anymore. You can see it's at a one-year low right now, selling at $4.42. Really cool-looking baby shiny. $9.94 is its one-year high. It's lost about 50% of that over the past year, which is absolutely crazy. Then we've got Galarian Weezing, $6.92 is one year high, which it hit in April. Then we had that reprint and it dropped like a rock all the way down to $4.55 at the beginning of July 2022 and just hasn't been able to recover since then, sitting at $4.63. Finally, we're going to look at Yamper. Yamper is a very cool Pokemon. It's a beautiful baby shiny, but just not a whole lot of traction with this one. Selling at $7.59 back in October of 2021, really starting to trend downwards uh, in July of 2022. It hit that $4.25 one-year low. It's recovered a little bit, sitting at $5.66 currently, but still closer to that one-year low than its one-year high. Those are the best-selling baby shinies right now on the market. There's about 15 of them that we're looking at. So there's a lot of other ones to look at, but a lot of them selling for a dollar, two dollars. If you don't have your Hidden Fates or your Shining Fates uh, Master Collections filled out, definitely might be the time to look at starting to add some pieces to your collection. You don't have a whole lot of a break here between uh, what we just had with Lost Origin and the release of Silver Tempest because we did have Lost Origin be delayed. Obviously, a lot of people are saving money for that Charizard Ultra Premium Collection and for Silver Tempest. We are giving away a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection and a Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. All you have to do to be entered to win, go back, watch the video that I just posted on Friday, just a couple days ago. Uh, just make sure you like and comment and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You can be entered to win one of those. We're going to release that winner this upcoming Friday. Guys, thank you so much for everything. Let me know in the comment section down below which ones you have of these baby shinies. Maybe one that might surprise you a little bit. Uh, We'll see you guys again uh, in Tuesday. Uh, until then, guys, thank you so much for everything. Peace.